yellow orange people. Yellow orange. Ye uh, I made. I, I tried that joke in the getaway driver video. It did not fly. Hey, it's fuzz time, and we all know I love a good fuzz. I have some trouble with fuzzes, but in order to, uh, you know, get rid of my fear, I'll face them head on every time. And it might help that I'm demoing this with the Volt guitar, because that's kind of like a guitar that gets out those kind of riffs out of you. Which is, uh, demoing this? What are we talking about? This. The fur coat from the orange. Um, Leslie just asked, why is the woman x-rayed? There's a big ass fur coat around her, but she's a skeleton except for her face, and there's a scully kind of bow tie. In. It's a. I like the graphics that Orange comes up with. I don't have to understand them, but I like them. Now we have 9 volt pedal in and out, blah blah. We have this row bar again because they think I would tread on these with my boots if it wasn't there. I don't know why they think that. Maybe they think I'm a clot. We have. The fuzz knob, which makes the LED blue, and we have the octave knob, which makes the LED purple once the fuzz is engaged. Which, with this camera and light stuff, you can't see. But trust me, it's happening. Um, knobs, we have volume, we have volume, fuzz, which could be considered gain, but some other things happen on it as well. We have EQ, which doesn't really tell us too much, just something happens with frequencies, loads of midzy kind of bitiness happening here. And we have octave, which I don't quite know exactly how it influences the octave, but uh, once it's engaged, that high octave comes in. Careful, try to be on the neck pickup, kind of above the 12th fret, that's where the octave really shines and comes through. So, we'll test this. We'll test it with a couple of different amps, we'll turn it off, we'll see what we think. That's what's gonna happen. Set up. This guitar that clashes like crazy with my shirt. It's a Volt guitar from the Netherlands, from uh, the guy who was behind, I think, the gear basis. Um, clocks in at about 3500 bucks. I'm not the offset kind of guy, but it's cool. This is a combination that works. That pedal, this guitar, Kind of, I think the attitude is right, and it's a very nice sounding guitar. Um, going into the Ref Generator 740 right behind me, behind the guitar stand, I think. So uh, yeah, that that uh, Seafoam Green amp right there. Um, of course, we're gonna go into a whole bunch of other amps, but that's at the end. And here we go. This is my clean sound. <laughs> Of course, that's going into the Torpedo Studio right now with the 212 Blonde 63. Why am I playing single notes? Well, because with fuzzes, uh, traditionally, that's all you can do when they're very aggressive. This is aggressive, but the cool thing is, it does allow for full chords and they're always right there. It's It never gets trashy, which is very nice. So is something you can do. Um, so let's do that. Very nice. Did 
Do, do you feel like it's, it's already starting to gate a little bit? Yes, the more you crank the gain or the fuzz knob, the more it gates. So yeah, we have a little bit of that gated fuzz sound and it's cool that you can actually dial that in just the way you like it. But you can still see all the full chords are there. Now, that's kind of a cool effect, if you ask me. Um, so, on this middle setting, let's see where we are in terms of EQ. no sense whatsoever musically. It's, it's like an EQ boosted around, I don't know, 1K, something like this. It's definitely a very annoying territory, but good for fun. Amazingly, you can still hear that. Uh, I was gonna say, no, that's a C sharp. Crazy how they can make it sound so broken and yet still have that transparency happening. Yes, I said the magic word transparency. Um, now let's look at the octave. The octave! can see once you get get above the 12th fret it seems to make a little bit more sense
single notes make more sense there. It's nice that you can turn it off because it makes it so much more flexible. It's not just an octave fuzz. Um, you can bring that in for those leads, but you can do a lot more with this. Um, now, of course, a fuzz sounds best when in front of a driven amp, says Pete Thorne, and he's right. Here's the slightly driven amp. <laughs> Clearly having too much fun. Uh, write that shit down, cause that was cool. That's like a six twelve eight six eight twelve eight kind of thing, and with the kicks from the. It's already one in my book. I'm sorry. Anything that makes me write cool shit, I'm done with that. Um, different amps. Here we go. The amps are set relatively clean. Uh, this thing is called the Carmartin Custom Shop 50 in the middle of the rack. What am I doing with my right hand? Back to the riff. To the uh, Dietzel Paul. Vox AC30. Rocker Verb 50 Clean Channel. Victory V40. Jet City Emilia. So as always, as you just heard, what amp you use 
has a bearing on the sound. Some might be cooler, some might be more sterile, some might be more fuzzy, some might be warmer and rounder. Obviously with the AC30 all of a sudden the thing blew up and got really dirty and mean and fatter. So uh, know your amp, know your gear. That's uh, Phil McKnight's channel, know your gear. Um, so here is what I think if you want classic rock sounds that are still controllable and not just these broken fuzz sounds. You can't get the gated fuzz sound, but still full transparency on everything. This thing is killer. You want those octave -y sounds. Not everything works. Careful with the pickup position. So the octave is something that I see as an added bonus, but not the super strength of this pedal. Super strength. For someone like me with a lisp, that is difficult. The super strength... The super strength of this pedal to me is clearly its transparency. Everything is there, you don't have to really change your playing. Some fuzzes require you to change who you are as a guitar player. Here, it's just gonna throw dirt on you and you do your thing just dirtier. Um, and that riff that I played, that, that wasn't me. That was what this thing, uh, this thing, for me, it's there. For you, it's there. Um, it was what this thing made out of me. And that's cool. When the pedal pushes me creatively as a musician. And this absolutely just did. So, for me, the weird naked skeleton lady wins. Uh, the thing is, I think about 150, 60 bucks. I think in that range. Absolutely killer. Uh, if you're in the market for those types of sounds. Hell yeah! Um, I'm the biggest fuzz fan, but I might be a fan of the fur coat. Of course, I'm, you know, all about, you know, save the whales and stuff and the seals and so on. So fur coat, that's a bad thing. So we're going to say what she's wearing is actually an old fur coat uh, that, uh, you know, you shouldn't even wear old fur coats. No, I'm, this is not a good pedal because, you know, of animals. I can't say that. It's painted on. It's a painted on coat. No animals were harmed in the making of this pedal. There you go. Animals at the end, as always, links below. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Leslie, for switching.